Hello everyone, Time Rover here, and welcome back to another brand new series for Stellaris, one of my favorite games to feature here on the channel. And uh, Stellaris this week has released, or I guess recently, I'm not sure when this video will go live, but uh, Stellaris has recently released a brand new DLC, the Federation's DLC. And uh, I want to uh, thank Paradox uh, for sending us and setting us up with a copy to take a look at. So thank you very much. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. So I'm still in my awkward, weird area with uh, my day job <clears throat> uh, being very busy and everything. Uh, so I'm not sure how much we'll, we'll, we'll get to play. And so we're going to go ahead and do just that. So we're going to jump into a brand new game. Um, so I'm, I'm a little rusty, I'm a little familiar somewhat of the, uh, of what, um, changes have been made in, in the game since, uh, since I last played, but not, not too much. And this is really going to be a sort of a learning game. Normally I would do this offline and play around with it. Uh, but because of my limited recording schedule these days, I figured, you know what, if I'm going to, if I'm going to learn it, might as well record it and get some content up. Um, out there on the YouTube. So let's go ahead. Uh, I decided, you know what? Well, let's. Um, we might. What we might do is take the human race here and just edit it a little bit, um, and see about different things. Because one thing that is changed for Federations is this um, origin empire here. Um, this this menu. So where we actually, I think these used to be in the ethics. Yeah, they, I think either that or a combination of both um, governments, ethics, and maybe traits or something along those lines. But for example, Life Seated definitely used to be in the uh, civics area. Uh, but they made, they pulled a lot of these out and they made them into what they call Origin. Just to give it a little bit more of a, um, you know, more of an interesting backstory, I suppose. Um, so we're going to take a look here at the various options. Now, some of these are locked behind DLC. Um, I do have all the DLC, so I'm not sure which ones are required, which ones are new, um, and so on and so forth. What's a lost colony here? An advanced empire of this species is spawned somewhere in the galaxy. Interesting. Oh, uh, oh, okay, I get it. So that's more like, um, is originated as a lost and forgotten colony separated from the homeworld long ago. The struggling colonists endured many hardships before. So we're basically a lesser of, you know, it could be like Earth and then we could have a colony somewhere else where Earth is actually like a advanced species. Well, we're not going to do, we're not going to do that. As a dormant gateway in their home system, potentially technological benefit or looming menace, start with a dormant gateway in your home system. That's really cool. <laughs> I, I kind of like that. Ah, do we go with the galactic doorstep? Oh, wow, that I, I think I might go with that. I it's it's kind of like uh, I mean, there's a lot of cooler ones I think, but having a starting right away with a gateway I think sounds pretty sweet. The other one I was thinking about is the shattered ring. Um, that sounds pretty darn cool. And the only one, uh, I did start a little bit of a game earlier this week, uh, but only like 15 minutes of it or something. Um, and I started on a shatter ring. That was kind of neat. Uh, life seated. I was thinking about life seated as well, but you know, we've done life seated before. I don't know if we want to do that. There's a bunch of other ones. Void dwellers sounded kind of cool. Start with, start with three orbital habitats and technology to build more. Um, so basically we would just be living on a orbital habitat, <clears throat> excuse me, but my voice has been taking a hit this week as I've been doing like three hour plus, uh, trainings and stuff with my faculty, um, at the university I'm at in order to get them up to speed on certain things. So do forgive me for my voice. If it sounds a little scratchy or whatnot, it's been taking a hit this week. Uh, Okay, so what are we going to do? Enough of this yakking and everything. Ooh, challenging origin. Someday we'll take that on. Uh, no, I think we might just do the, the doorstep. I think it, I don't know. It's kind of little low-key um, area. 
but we, we might do that. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Why not? Sure. Okay, so we're gonna light. We're gonna do the the doorstep or doorstop or whatever it is. And one of the big things about um, federations is federations and sort of diplomacy and a revamp of that whole system. So we're going to be doing, I think, that. So I, I'm going to want to be more diplomatic in my in my endeavors here. And so I see no reason why not why to change the human base racial things or ethics of fanatic egalitarian and xenophile. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm fine with this. Utopian living standards, sure. In terms of civics, uh, what were what did we want to do? I mean, we're not going to be the United Nations of Earth. I'll probably do a um, uh, a setup, a, a sort of a random setup. We'll be human-like, but maybe not actual humans. Uh, environmentalist, mm, sure. I mean, immigration pool might be kind of cool, especially if we're doing the Federation route. We can start getting in uh, new recruits from our, you know, our deals and everything or our diplom diplomatic behaviors. So I think that might be kind of cool to do. Uh, administrative capacity, I don't know how much expansion we're going to do because of the setting I'm going to be, be doing um, with the setup here. So we might not go sort of that route. Uh, I think Diplomatic Corps, definitely one of the new ones there. Available Envoys plus two, which we'll talk about in a little bit, I guess. Diplomatic Weight, then, would be plus 10%. So, I guess that would probably be good. So, yeah. Bureaucrats, Cutthroat, meh. Keep our people a little bit happier. Or, sorry, less, uh, less need for consumer goods. I mean, we've got this. I I probably should bring in something that, like, gives us either resources or cuts our resources in half or something along those route, that route. What's this? This uh, society believes in an equitable distribution of resources, making little to no distinction between the needs of the ruler and the ruled. All work together. Allows shared burden living under which all pops uh, have moderate consumer goods upkeep regardless of strata. Disables the use of most other living standards. Stability 5, pop, demotion time. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of pretty good. Not going to lie. But I don't think we'll go with that. What was the one I was looking at earlier? Oh my gosh, Free Haven. You know what, let's go Free Haven. We're going to want some, some uh, alien populations, I feel. Um... So we'll see how that goes. We're democratic. I mean, we can't really do anything else. So, yeah. Uh, in terms of species name, um, we're not going to do human. Uh, well, I guess we'll do human. We'll, we'll pretend that the humans, like, I don't know, went somewhere else. Or, you know, we left Earth and broke away or, or something along those lines. Um, species name is fine. Traits. What I'll do is like, you know what? Let's do stu um, new human. Nah, that's fine. Human is fine. I'm not gonna overthink it. I always tend to overthink things, and and we're already like almost ten minutes into the video, and I haven't even started yet. Ugh. Oh my gosh, should have did this beforehand. Okay, United Nations of Earth. Uh, just randomize it. Human Accord. Sure, that sounds fine. Uh, do we want the little C there? No, I like I like the atom. I think that's good. And we're gonna grab my usual green sort of color palette. Eh, that looks nice. Ship appearance. Uh, humanoid ruler. Uh, let's go. Eh, you know what? We can do a woman. That's fine. Juliet Batista. How about that? Uh, president. Yeah, I think that's fine. I, I don't see a reason why. We could do, like, Chancellor or Prime Minister or something. But you know what? I'm in the USA. President is fine. That's what we got, so that should be okay. And again, our goal here is to form a federation. So, Human Accord. Um, did I... Where are you? Uh, where are you? Yeah. Woo. Okay. I, I forgot all about this. I wanted to actually set up traits and actual... Um, our planet and everything, so I don't want to be on Earth. I want to be randomized. Okay, I want... 
I'm gonna actually put in a little cut, and when I get back, I'll have our list here. Okay, and we're back. So, I'm gonna go with Intelligent, <clears throat> so we're gonna be researching a little better. We'll be Adaptive, um, and I think that's gonna come in handy as well, just because we're gonna have fewer habitable worlds, so that we'll appreciate that boost of a 10%. And then just to even things out, we've got Fleeting, so our leaders will will generally die a little bit quicker more so than everybody which is going to be kind of a pain but hey it is what it is and sedentary so even though we're going to be pulling in immigration from other sort of nations hopefully um i'm not going to include or we i'm hoping we don't immigrate as as much um but who knows maybe that's not the best thing um is it uh, see, I'm now second guessing guessing myself as always. Uh, we could do pop. You know what? No, no, we're gonna do wasteful instead. Ha! That's more like it. Okay, so we've got those going for us, and uh, let's go ahead and hit next. Uh, no, we're not gonna do Earth. Um, unless we did like Earth Two, or um, you know, what's the the Terra, Terra Nova, uh. We'll just do Terra. Star name is Terra 2 as well. Or we could do like Soul 2. But no, I'll, I'll, I'll stick with Terra. Uh, do we want to do like a random tertiary or binary or anything like that? Nah, I think, um, I think random just in general I think will be fine. We'll keep the continental world. What? Why didn't you change? I don't know. All right, uh, I'm not sure why you didn't change, but that's fine. Uh, we'll keep the continental world because we are still kind of human, I suppose. There we go. And that should be, I think that's it. All right, I think that's it. We're good to go, right? Do I need to change anything else before I, uh, I, lock, <clears throat> I lock it in? Did I pick the actual um, ship? designation name name list uh yeah we um uns the uh human i don't know uss i don't know there was something i was going to put in here but maybe we just pick you une back uh back no, i can't do it um how about the HAS, the has, human accord ship, <laughs> sure, uh, I, I suppose. I'm sure people will probably like, that's stupid, and it probably is, but hey, my brain hurts, so sue me. All right, uh, that's it. We're going to go ahead and save the human accord here, boom, and we're going to hit done. So in terms of a setup, um, we're going to go with a sort of like a, I, I want a lot of AI empires in order to facilitate our diplomatic, uh, endeavors here. Um, I'm also, I think, going to take down all of these fallen empires, marauders, well, do I want to put marauders in there? I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the marauders and I seem to always get near them. So no, I mean, I suppose we could put in like maybe two fallen empires if we wanted to but no i think i'm gonna leave everything off we'll max out ai empires that way we'll get you know everybody's on sort of the same footing and we will be you know there's a lot of people in there in case we get like you know people we don't you know want <laughs> that won't be friends with us um in terms of habitable worlds uh i think i'm gonna just lower this i think the default is one if i'm not mistaken we'll bring it down to 75 um, just to sort of take down the amount of habitable worlds in the world. And at the same time, we will reduce the guaranteed habitable worlds. Uh, because I really want to kind of make it a little bit more tall building as opposed to wide. And making the habitable worlds off to an off would help with that. Um, as far as difficulty, you know, we're not going to go with Ensign. But maybe we'll go with... Um, <clears throat> with Commodore here and we'll take what no advanced neighbors scaling difficulty on 
Yeah, so we'll start low and then build up from there. I think that's going to be okay. Uh, galaxy, I usually do spiral is usually what I typically do. But let's do um, let's do elliptical. I think that's that will work for this time. And uh, do we do achievements? Normally, I, I try not to just because of recording and everything. Uh, and you know what? Because it is sort of my first playthrough of Federations, let's let's just do that. I, I don't intend to like restart or anything with this game, but just in case something goofy goes wrong with the actual recording, I do want to be able to like <clears throat> cut up my cut my losses and restart the episode um, so that we don't like miss out on a lot of a lot of time. So let's go with a play. So finally, we are oh, 15 minutes in. <sighs> my we have to put a link in the description to um to start the actual gameplay for those that don't want to see me bumble through bumble through the setup of our of our race here uh so we've got origin we've got galactic doorstep the mysterious construction uh or sorry the mysterious construct in our solar system was discovered a few hundred years ago due to its dark metallic properties the artifact was named the black crown and its majestic presence had profound effect on our society it unified our people in both spirit and pursuit Space flight became the highest priority of our scientific community, and the eager quest for this technology brought with it a series of other beneficial discoveries. The Black Crown turned out to be a dormant, uh, but turned out to be dormant, but we learned an important lesson. It's not the, des the destination that matters, it's the journey. And now, thanks to the beckoning of the Black Crown, our species has the means by which we can visit the stars. Alrighty. Let's take a look. Where is our, um, there it is. The Black Crown. wonder where it goes. Is it a, um, is it a regular gateway or one of the, what are they called? The ancient gate. Oh, and I just noticed we got a th TriStar system. Nice. Nice. Uh, the ancient remains of what appears to be a gateway of some sorts. It repairs. I, it, my guess is, I think this is, uh, the symbol for the, uh, the owl gate. So I'm wondering if it functions like an L gate in that respect. All right, let's take a look at where we're at um, in the system here. Um, hmm, could have been better. We're sort of like in the northernish, hemispherish area of, of the galaxy. I mean, we have like so we have a lot of connections. I'm not. It's going to be a kind of a pain to sort of. Defend. I mean, we've got sort of a bottleneck over here, so we probably want to take that system and then sort of over here as well. Well, then it breaks off over this way. So, yeah, this side is a little less defensive-y, um, unless what's over here is sort of one a one-shot connection. But yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take a look at that uh, going forward here and see what we can do. Uh, technology. You got some crazy hair, Yumi. Look at you. Hey, we've got a genius. Woohoo! We've got Rene Dupont. He is our resident genius, and he is working on engineering. All right. Uh, ooh, research speed. Yes, please. Flat research speed to all research. Definitely going down that route first. Um, blah, 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 blah. Let's go pop growth. I think that's going to be fine. Actually, you have colony, and yes. No, no colony, so we're just going to run, you know, biology here. Um, and hopefully we can get a, a better, another genius or a maniacal or something like that. Engineering, what do we got here? We've got Corvettes. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be doing that super soon. Mining output. Mm, let's just go with uh, nano me nano mechanics. And actually... I'm going to actually switch you two around because I kind of want the research. I want to use your research boost to speed up the uh, research boost for both of you. Just in in general, I think that's going to be a good good move to make. Um, you can go there. What is our um, science ship? Hey, nice. Meticulous. Right off the bat. I am so far liking our start. I'm going to send uh, the HAS, the Has Lagrange over to this side oh wait oh okay never mind we'll go here first that's fine uh give me that sh give me that ship again 
survey, and then just grab you, and which way, which way, let's go this way. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. We'll just do something like that. We'll have a new ship here shortly, so it's going to be fine. All right, I think we can unpause. Uh, let's take a look at Terra. What do we get? Size 19 planet. Not not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Nice little um, even sort of distribution of district possible districts. Anything special? We have some hot springs. Nothing. Uh, nothing major that I can see at a glance. I don't know what all of this to Ooh, what is this? Hey, we got some uh, we can add in some more generators. That's always good. Yep, I'm liking it. I'm liking our start here. Very nice. Very very well indeed. Um why are we losing habitability here? I thought I took away I don't know. Pop up keep. Yeah, well, whatever. If you know, let me know. Uh, but yes. Uh, oh, construction ship. Let's go ahead and get you started on something. Increase speed, please, because we need resources. I like our starting system. It's always nice getting the um, the trinary star system uh, when it can it comes to random starts. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're gonna go down there. Unfortunately, yeah, no planets. It's gonna be a little harder to come by, but uh, we'll make it. Um, with the diminished, diminished habitable worlds as well as the guaranteed um, habitable worlds and all that stuff. Uh, the Voltum event, sure. We can go ahead and start that. Um, you're fine. We don't have any. We don't have enough food to do anything or any decisions. I don't think so. We're not going to worry too too much about that. And yeah, our pops. We have zero jobs available. We're good on housing for the time being, but we're about to run out of amenities here. So we're going to want to do something about that. Oh, and I should actually build a new science ship right off the bat here, because we do have enough energy to hire a leader, and maybe I can recruit one. Aha! Oh my gosh! We've got two! Two research spark of geniuses! Awesome! Fantastic! Man, this is uh this is turning out to be probably one of my best starts. We'll probably be next to like warring civilizations or something, but hey, we don't have uh you know to worry about advanced AI or anything like that, so that's always good. Technology um, not quite. We can't, we can't get the other spark of genius, so I'm just going to throw you, you know what, let's get the pop growth going first, um, available. Yeah, fantastic. And we'll put the, um, the other scientist in our new science ship here. Someone at the door. Without slight warning, the mysterious, uh, alien gateway in our home system came alive an energy surge pulsed out from the artifact and for a fleeting moment a glowing vibrating orb filled the center of the structure this remnant of a former civilization may not be so dormant as previously believed although the gateway was open for no longer than a few seconds it was enough to let through some space debris rocks dust uh, that upon closer inspection turned out to be valuable resources okay so some new interesting information has come to light and our once dormant gateway is no longer dormant so that's something and go ahead and just pause the music. I probably should have done that earlier. <laughs> All right. Uh, marvelous. We've got 250 alloys. Uh, does it look any different? Uh, it doesn't look like it. So they're sending us some uh, nice resources. Sure. I'll take it. Um, let me just once again adjust the, the sound here. Just to make sure everything is okay. All right, there we go. I'm gonna have to take a look at that in editing to see if I can lower the sound on that because that was probably going a little bit loud, and I didn't have my headphones on. That was the issue. 
All right, um, let's go ahead and set you to Dominic. Uh, I'm going to actually have you start... You know, this is a binary system, so start there. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky. Probably not, but we'll see what happens. Uh, it's, the ambient noise is a little distracting. Construction completed. Okay. Like it. All right, you're done there. Uh, let's go ahead and set up the research station. Aw, well, again, I don't expect too many, um, uh, what do you call it, planets with our current setup, but eh, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky. Let's see, we got there. All right, now we're approaching uh, 30 minutes, but because we spent about 15 or so on the setup, I'm gonna go ahead and go a little bit more. And I'll put a link in the description below to get uh, gameplay started right away as opposed to the setup options. All right, and what do we got? You're doing that. We can hire a new scientist. So let's go ahead and do just that. Leaders, recruit. Yummy, yummy. Spark of genius. Let's go back to technology and swap you out with our spark of genius. Uh, I, that did register, right? Yeah, three sparks of genius. Now, completed. our leaders are going to die off a lot quicker. So we do have something... Um, yeah, that's something to deal with. All right, so normally I go expansion. But I, you know, I'm a, I'm a little, I'm a little afraid that we're not going to have anything nearby to expand to. So we could go down diplomacy. And I definitely do want to go down diplomacy, but diplomacy, we don't know anybody yet. So it's probably not that needed. So I think discovery is really, it's like usually between discovery and expansion, uh, we're not planning on being, you know, the supreme leaders of everything nor dominating anybody. No, I think what we do is we go discovery and then once we finish this, either go down diplomacy or expansion, depending upon what we find in our general area. So let's start off with some discovery here. That will be good. You're done. Anomalous readings. Uh, woo, that's going to take a long time. So we're going to just leave that for now. So, out of curiosity, I mean, we have our construction ship. Which way do I want to go? What? Uh-oh. Are, are we going to be dead? <laughs> uh, construction ship. Okay. So, once again, the slumbering gateway has come alive. This time, it was not a boon, but rather a bane. That comes to us from the great unknown. A single space-dwelling creature sprang out of the glowing gateway and seems to be on the prowl, answering to no kind of hailing or warning. We should move to eradicate the threat immediately. Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, all right. So, it's uh, it's like just a small little ship here. All right, so it looks like we're going to have to deal with some craziness in uh, in our system. Yowzers. All right. Um, fleet. Mobilize. And attack. Do we need an... Uh, eh, sure. Let's, I get, uh, do we need this? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, and we don't have enough money. Okay. It's fine. We don't need a leader yet. Go, go, go. System survey concluded. Attack. So I guess we will need somewhat of a military to to combat this this thing, unfortunately. Uh, but we did. Oh, it does give us some sort of um, debris that we can analyze. Really cool. All right, I'm digging it. Go research project, and then afterwards I'm gonna send you over here and to scout out these areas. Ah, the Habitable World Survey. Let's go ahead and do that. Because we're going to be diplomatic. And so we should be able to get this stuff going a little bit. Um, you're going to be pretty good. Offsetting our, our trait of lower things. Analyzed. All right. Well, that's not bad. Oh, Terra. Oh, my gosh. I haven't been, I haven't been paying attention. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um... 
Okay, you need amenities. So we could get a city district for the amenities. I'd like to get the monument going. Uh, I could throw in some hollow, but no, you know what? That's not much in terms of amenities, though. Not much jobs, either. We don't really need the, the housing. All right, what else does what else gives uh, amenities here? Um, I guess just the hollow theater. Is that is that right? Uh, I guess I can I can narrow it down up here. Um, amenities. So we've got luxury resources. Doesn't give any job. Hollow theater gets entertained. Okay, I guess we need the hollow theaters. Although that only gives two amenities. Or no. Oh, no. Yeah, it, it gives a lot. And it gives um, some unity. You know what? Give me the hollow theater. That's fine. Normally, I don't start with a hollow theater. I mean, normally it's not useful. Um, or usually it's like you do research or unity, the, the temple thing. Detected an anomaly. Um, but, you know, we're, we're doing a little differently here. All right, we're going to go up here and then just sort of like shoot around. I'll have you exit the system. And it's going to be fine. I'll probably have you go over here, over there, there, and then we'll revisit you. All right. Well, I mean, it's kind of iffy. I mean, we've got this archaeological site over there, but I don't know if that's going to be super, super worth it. Um, so I'm going to go towards the, well... I guess we'll go towards the... Because our energy output is doing pretty well already. So let's go over here and get Radathi. Because um, I do sort of want to start working my way down here, most likely. Uh, but watch. There'll probably be a planet over here. It's usually how it goes, you know. Alright. Yeah, we're still at 90%. I thought... Did I... Um... Yeah, I didn't take... We got the adaptive. But your home world was always a hundred. System survey concluded. Huh. Unless I unless something changed that I'm just not aware of. All right, discovery, uh, research alternatives. Let's get the survey speed. That's gonna get our completed. surveying done a lot quicker. Detected an anomaly. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and research that. That's gonna be fine. You're gonna build that up and build that up. This was probably a stronger says Yeah, look at that. Six minerals there from one area. Minerals-wise, we, we're looking pretty good. I mean, I'm liking our resources in System general. So, go ahead and research it. It's not too bad. Light show! Science officer Yumi Yamaguchi uh, reports that the luminous waves coursing through the ice that blankets Sonus 6 are of alien origin. Some ancient battle has deposited scattered wreckage from the alien fighter on the frozen planet, and only of the exposed core of its main weapons it remain intact. It seems this alien race used lasers somewhat more advanced than the ones currently used by the human fleets, and the fizzling innards periodically discharge low-powered lasers into the ice of Saronis, uh, Asonus 6. The planet's harsh climate prevents the lasers from actually melting the ice, allowing the chili matrix to act as a brilliant prism. Uh, we could use that technology. Hey, we got blue lasers, just like that. To the universe. Very System nice. Survey concluded. Uh, we'll just leave that go. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah, we're going to leave that for a little bit until we get a better scientist. Speaking of which, what do we got? Eh, kind of crap. Construction completed. Uh, spit it out. Oh, my gosh. All right. Once more, the gateway has been activated. This time, the activation lasted only a fraction of a second, but that was enough for something to cross over. An unknown metallic object of extraordinary velocity shot out of the portal and cut its way through the system. Before any sensors could get a decent reading, the object had collided with a planet in our system. We should investigate the point of contact as soon as possible. Hmm. Situation log has been updated. Wait, it actually hit Terra? Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's uh 
You know what, now's a good time to get in another science ship, because it's always good for a science ship time. Okay, uh, we've got you there. Uh, diamond in the Rough. After the study of Polker 5 has concluded, scientists uh, reports that they have found a planet to be unusually rich in minerals. The discovery has made it possible in large thanks, in large part thanks to a certain number of the has as as a fee crew. Dominic Gerard praises the protege highly. Offer this protege a science officer position. Okay. Um, they do work. So what do we get here? All right. So we gain a new scientist and add Polker 5 plus 6 resources. Promising crew modifier added for 240 months, giving the following effect. Anomaly research speed. I'm almost tempted just to do this. Yeah, we get a nice scientist, but we can we can afford that. This would be this would affect all of our science ships. So yeah, let's do that. And speaking of which, I think um, what I'm going to do in between episodes, ooh, hello planet, ugh, tropical, um, is set up a, or get my spreadsheet out, my viewer in-game name request form uh, spreadsheet, and maybe rename some of our ships, like our science ships. I don't know if we'll do the fleet or something, but might do something along those lines. All right, let's go back to Terra. We've got our sciencey ship here. Let's click on recruit. Uh, nothing spectacular, so I guess we'll just recruit the um, the youngest. Go there, and then you can come over here and research this project. I'm sure nothing bad is going to happen. Uh, let's upgrade you using some of those nice resources. We have detected an anomaly. Um. I kind of want to get these th things researched. But we do have that. Now, let's leave B for now. Because then maybe we can discover uh, additional anomalies more quickly and then just Ship research them later. Applied. Okay, that's done. All right. So I kind of want to bring you in. So let's go ahead and get this system into our territory here. That's good. Anomalous readings registered. Go ahead and research that. That's going to not take too long. System um, survey concluded. What does this mean again? Oh, building slots available. Yeah, we don't. That's that's okay. It's fine. Okay, so we do have the archaeological site that we could potentially exploit. Um, FTL impact. Uh-huh. Cool. I'm going to try not to read all of them. Um, you know, you can pause and... Oh, man. We have detected an anomaly. And return... Routine. Uh, yeah, so that's a... Completed. That is habitable by us. I mean, I doubt we're going to have uh, another habitable world, so we might want to start going up that way. Traditions, uh, research station output, additional alternatives... Yeah, let's get the research station. We do have some research station. A That'll quicken our research. Completed. Crash site of the probe. Far more complicated than anticipated. Readings indicate that it didn't crash in the con conventional sense. However, the remarkable velocity of the object. So what really happened? It's time to take a closer look. I'm guessing the situation log has been updated. Uh, yes. Nervingly, there are no signs from, from Gateway Sent. Track on map. Go to. Alright. Um No. Okay, what what gives? Why what do I need? Is it a is it a construction ship thing? Might be a construction ship. Or not? Oh, it's a it's an archaeological dig. Ah, okay. <clears throat> All right, I, I gotcha. How do I how do I do it? Why why can't my science ship excavate site? All right, there we go. We're good. It's all good. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get that. 
survey speed and automated surveying is always a good thing to have. And I think that is, is what we're going to look for. We are running a little short on consumer goods. Uh, so we'll probably want to look to get Terra a consumer goods factory here shortly. Um, we may even need some food soon. Let's take a look at this planet before we put in a cut here. Um, nothing, nothing stand out. I mean, it's a really tiny world. We're going to have to probably colonize it because we're not going to have many options. So we'll probably colonize it, but yeah, it's not going to be a, a major breadbasket or anything for us, System unfortunately. Survey concluded. Who knows? Maybe there'll be something over there. It'd be nice if we could get like a system down here. System survey concluded. Uh, we're going to have to, like, set up some defensive structures in this system. Oh, hello, planet. A savannah world. A size 11. Oh, jeez. Okay, beyond impact. Initial reports from our excavation on Terra are both extraordinary and a bit unnerving. Analysis of the surface debris in the impact crater and its immediate surrounding reveal a surprise. Apparently, the unknown object did neither break nor break... <laughs> did neither break nor break upon impact. Somehow, the object uh, managed to pierce through the soil and is now resting deep in the ground. Further excavation is uh, ready to begin. Uh, this is going to be an issue, I think. <laughs> I don't think uh, I don't think it's going to be a, a good, nice little uh, thing. But who knows? Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. We'll have to wait and see. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in the video. We've gone on 42 minutes. <clears throat> That should give us around 30 minutes total, uh, minus the setup and everything. So we'll see. Anywho, thanks everyone for watching. If you do want to see your name in this game or in any of the others in the on the channel, uh, do fill out the in-game name request form found in the description below, and I'll try to get you in that game or th this game. Um, and otherwise, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. And if you want to see more content, as always, I strongly encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.